Ever wondered how scientists might be able to edit genes like a writer tweaks sentences? Welcome to the era of gene editing, a groundbreaking scientific field that's all about modifying DNA, the blueprint of life. This isn't just about understanding how life works, it's about enhancing it. Imagine being able to correct genetic defects, combat diseases and improve agricultural products. Yes, we're talking about the potential to treat conditions like cancer and cystic fibrosis or to develop drought-resistant crops. The possibilities are mind-boggling and it's stirring up a storm of excitement in the scientific community. Yet with all great innovations, there come challenges. Just as a writer must carefully select each word to avoid miscommunication, scientists must meticulously edit genes to avoid off-target effects, because when it comes to life's blueprint, there's no room for errors. But like all powerful tools, gene editing comes with its own set of challenges. One of the biggest challenges in gene editing is something called off-target effects. Imagine you're an author painstakingly crafting a novel. Each word, each sentence, each page is meticulously chosen to create a world, a story, a universe. But what if, in your editing process, you accidentally alter parts of the story you didn't mean to? What if characters start behaving out of character, or the story takes a turn you didn't intend? This is a simple way to understand off-target effects in gene editing. In the realm of gene editing, our genetic material, our DNA, is the novel. Each gene is like a character, playing a specific role in the story of our lives. The editing tools like zinc finger nucleases or ZFNs, transcription activator-like effector nucleases or talons, and CRISPR-Cas systems are the authors, tasked with making precise changes to our genetic story. But just like an author can make an unintended change, these gene editing tools can also make mistakes. They can bind to the wrong part of the DNA, the part that wasn't meant to be altered, and induce undesirable DNA cleavage, or in simpler terms, cut the DNA at the wrong place. This is what we call off-target effects. These effects are not just simple typos that can be overlooked, they can lead to toxicity or lethality, making them a major roadblock not only for basic scientific research, but also for potential clinical and industrial applications of gene editing. Scientists have come up with various approaches to minimize these off-target effects. They have made mutations in folk AI for ZFNs and talons to increase their specificity. They have developed variants of Cas9, like HFCas9, ECas9, and HyperCas9, with lower off-target specificity. They have even explored new Cas9 homologs that can recognize different parts of the DNA, increasing precision and potentially having higher on-target specificity. However, this is a battle that is far from over. Each solution brings with it a new set of challenges, and the quest for the perfect gene editing tool continues. So, how do scientists tackle this issue of off-target effects in gene editing? Scientists have been developing various methods to reduce off-target effects. The mission, while complex, is of vital importance. Off-target effects, where gene editing tools mistakenly alter unintended parts of the genome, can lead to toxicity or lethality. This is a significant hurdle, not only in basic science approaches, but also for potential clinical and industrial applications of gene editing. Starting with the basics, scientists have tried to limit the amount and duration of active Cas9 protein in cells. Cas9, as you might recall, is a key player in the revolutionary CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing system. By controlling its activity, scientists hope to minimize the likelihood of off-target effects, this has been achieved through selective delivery methods and by adjusting the half-life of the Cas9 protein, but the innovation doesn't stop there. A number of Cas9 variants with lower off-target specificity have been developed. These include HF-Cas9, E-Cas9, and HyperCas9. Each of these variants have been engineered to be more precise, reducing the chances of off-target cleavage. In addition to these modifications, scientists have explored new variants of Cas9 and Cas9 homologs, such as CRISPR-Cas12 and CRISPR-Cas13A. These alternatives recognize different protospacer-adjacent motifs, or PAMs, which significantly increases options for precision genome editing. Not only that, 
but they also potentially have higher on-target specificity, further reducing the risk of off-target effects. One interesting alternative is a fusion of Cas9 with FOCAI nucleus. This innovative approach combines the advantages of zinc finger nucleuses and talons with the CRISPR-Cas9 system. When fused to the FOCAI endonucleus, the dead or deactivated Cas9, known as DCAS9, exhibits greater specificity compared to Cas9 alone. This specificity comes from the DCAS9 FOCAI cleavage activity, which is strictly dependent on the guide RNAs. As such, the DCAS9 protein proves to be a viable means to control gene expression by interfering with transcription. With all these advancements, the future of gene editing looks promising. Now imagine a world where we can effectively reduce or even eliminate off-target effects in gene editing. This would be a game-changer in many fields, but let's take a closer look at two areas in particular, medicine and agriculture. In medicine, gene editing has the potential to revolutionize how we treat diseases. It could allow us to precisely target and correct genetic mutations that cause diseases, from cancer to genetic disorders, like cystic fibrosis. This could lead to treatments that are more effective and have fewer side effects than current therapies. Imagine a world where conditions once thought incurable become manageable or even curable. Beyond the treatment of diseases, gene editing could also be used to improve overall human health. It might be possible to edit genes to increase resistance to diseases or to slow down the aging process. These advancements could dramatically increase our lifespan and quality of life. Now, let's shift our focus to agriculture. Gene editing could help us create crops that are more resistant to diseases and pests, reducing the need for harmful pesticides. It could also allow us to engineer plants that are more nutritious or that can thrive in harsh climates. This could lead to more sustainable and resilient food systems, helping us feed a growing global population in a changing climate. But it's important to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. The ethical implications of gene editing are vast and complex, and it's crucial that we continue to have open and informed discussions about how to use these tools responsibly. As we continue to refine these tools, we may be on the brink of a new era in science and medicine. The future of gene editing is full of potential, but it's up to us to navigate this new frontier with care and wisdom. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, keep exploring the wonders of science.